Woody Shaw and Tom Harrell are the two names that come to mind uh, when you when you ask about um, works of another musician. Now, I started off uh, like a lot of trumpet players do with uh, like Miles Davis, Chet Baker. Then I kind of got more into the bebop stuff, like you know Freddie Hubbard. But I've I've really uh, <clears throat> the music of uh, Woody Shaw. And I would say Woody Shaw and Tom Harrell for me are the are the ones. Uh, you know, somebody like Tom Harrell, he's had such a long career. I mean, I think he was playing back in the 70s, and he's still playing now. And if you listen to a 1970s Tom Harrell, he sounds pretty different than a modern Tom Harrell. Not better or worse, but his, his sound has changed a lot. Um, when he started out, he kind of had a kind of harsher, edgier sound. It was really cool. Um, and now it's very different. It's kind of softened. It's very kind of, it's almost like, ghosty or mysterious or something and I'm sure part of it is the equipment the con 38b but you know part of it's him the genius of Tom Harrell um I think he's a genius I really do um and so that's that's one thing I, I would say sound and ideas I guess are the two things that speak to me about the music of Tom Harrell and Woody Shaw first of all there the sound is so important because it draws you into what somebody has to say if I'm speaking to you with a very unpleasant voice I could be telling you really great things, but because of how my you know, voice sounds, you're probably not gonna wanna listen to what I'm saying. Um, so Tom Harrell's sound brings me in. Then after I'm brought in by his sound, I just listen to the notes that he's playing. And it's like uh, Chet Baker meets Kenny Dorham meets Freddie Hubbard and, you know, and a bunch of other players. And he's somehow been able to kind of synthesize all that information and, and, and come out with his own original sound to go back to what we were talking about before. He, you can tell that he's definitely studied where the music has come from, but he's, he's created his own brand. I, I would say those things even more about um, Woody Shaw. He just has, I mean, you can instantly tell that it's Woody playing. You know, he's harmonically, he's just taken it. I feel like he was one of the last great innovative trumpet players. There's definitely been others that have come after him, but if he just kind of sticks out in my mind as, as an innovator, you know? Someone who sounds almost like nobody who came before him, you know? And now every, you know, not everybody, but a lot of people, including myself, want to sound like him because he was just so great. Um, yeah, but his, again, his sound, now he has, I think his sound is, is very different from Tom Harrell's sound. I think it's, it's brighter, it's sharper, I think maybe more laser-like. Um, I, I hope some other people watching this can, can give me some better adjectives, but that's, those are kind of the words that come to mind when I, when I listen to him. And then, um, oh, harmonically, he's just so interesting. He's just all over the place. Talk about a guy who breaks the rules and then unbreaks them in the most interesting ways. You can tell based on his solo, most of the time, what tune he's playing, but the way he does that is so imaginative and original. That, that's kind of what draws me to him. So, and then there are other greats that you definitely are not allowed to neglect. I would say Chet Baker, Miles Davis, Clifford Brown, Booker Little. I think more people need to listen to, to Booker Little. You know, more modern guys, Nicholas Payton, uh, our, our own Marquise Hill. He's, a, he's, a, he's one I, I keep going back to. I don't know, Randy Brecker, Wynton Marsalis. I mean, the list goes on and on. Roy Hargrove, Terrence Blanchard. You know, I could, I could just name names for another hour, but I'm not going to do that to you. I'm Sam Robinson. You've been watching Player to Player. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.